anyway, because I'm a very serious person, mm. let's talk about outgoing Prime Minister Boris Johnson, uh, who's found himself in hot water again after a clumsy comment yesterday about kettles uh, while making a speech about investing in nuclear power. Uh, if you haven't seen it, this is what he said. So that has been shown everywhere, you know, on a loop, hasn't it? Yeah. Can I just say before you start, when I hadn't seen it and when we spoke about it, I thought that he'd just said it off the cuff, but he was actually reading that, so he'd planned to say that. Well, yeah, I mean, you're not going to believe this, but I'm going to stick up from here. Well, now I've seen everything. <laughs> <laughs> not only is she doing Strictly, yeah, but she's strictly. also and sticking she's up Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> well, do you know what? No, I'm not going to stick up for, for Boris Johnson, but I am going to kind of try and stick up for journalism a little bit. And I was so disappointed to see that clip go everywhere because he expressed it very clumsily, but in context, actually, what he was talking about is that he feels, and not everyone agrees, that we need to invest heavily in nuclear energy because we have an energy crisis, nuclear power. And he was trying to say it's going to cost a lot of money at the beginning, but it will reap dividends as time goes on. And he was using that not very great analogy of you invest in a new kettle that's very energy efficient and it will save you money as you go along. Mm. So... Which I makes kinda, sense, yeah. Which kind of makes sense. So I do get what he was saying, but clearly we're now in the stage that he's he's but gone, no, isn't he? And the media is just... That's the point. So you're them... annoyed at the media more than... Well, I think it's a shame for journalism, because I think we should be better than but that. the journalists I think we should be better than that. hacked off with him, pardon the pun, yeah, but they yeah. really are. They're not going to help him out anymore. So there was a time, I think, where the journalists or the media were probably going to be trying to unpick some of those... Yeah. Clumsy moments, but he's made. He's got such previous. So maybe it's not about them sticking up for him, though. It's about them actually writing about the stuff that people need to be reading about. Exactly. And that's the energy crisis and how we're going to solve it. Exactly. Because people don't understand it. People don't understand how bad it is and things like that. So they're well, not trying to help us more. Well. We're I just agree talking with about all of Boris. that. But I think it's 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 a little bit too late to be doing that. It's ten years before we get a, a new nuclear power station. Well, it's it's ten years down the line. What's gonna happen in the in the next ten years? Mm -hmm. And also you can't just you can't just stand up there and just say say exactly this is what you need to do. This is why we're going to do things. It's like yeah. it's it's all too late. The journalists the journalists are creating a story for people to talk about because they're just distracting people from all the other things that are going on. It's a massive distraction. Everyone's talking about the kettle now. Everyone's yeah, talking about the yeah. kettle. Like, and that's actually, all he said. You know, it's, we do need to talk about the fact late. that energy is not going to be as plentiful or as cheap in the future for a considerable period of time. And we are probably going to have to change our behaviours. And we have become accustomed to... And I'm not... I'm separating this from the cost of living crisis because I know that there's people who are really struggling and making really difficult decisions, so I'm not in any way minimising that. But for a lot of other people, we've got used to putting a washing on every other day, wash it all. I mean, my kids will do it. They'll come with a T-shirt or whatever. It's got a tiny little stain on it and they'll want to put it in the washing machine <clears> for, like, a single wash. And I say, no, we can't do that anymore. We, but we no, can't but you, do that well, anymore. How did you do that anyway? I mean, this is what I don't understand. I do not understand this wastefulness when it comes to resources. And I've always been like that, not just now, not just because there's a crisis. It, it, it goes right through me when, when someone just runs a tap or, or goes well, I, in the yeah, shower I'm, for an hour. I'm or, probably one of those people. I used to brush my terrible. teeth with the tap running because I felt like it was part of the routine. Maybe it was as but a Everybody shot. does. Everyone did. But yeah, trying but I don't to think stop we that. were... I think we always felt or we were kind of always led to believe that resources would last forever. Well, endless, like, exactly. Yeah, but I don't remember ever being taught or ever being told that things would run out. Like, in my head as a kid, water's water. It's but always going to be there. Like, like, it's going to run like? out. Well, well, my just... kids are now learning differently. You know, it's they are learning wasteful. about recycling. They're learning, like, my son tells me to turn the tap off when I'm cleaning Good, my teeth. Really? He'll pick up rubbish outside. He is, he is aware, so they are being taught that now. So I think... Although we all know that there is a crisis, I think it's hard to change habits of a lifetime yeah. for some generations because they weren't but aware of that. Up, and they don't understand if you're it. Brought up with not much, and you, you really know how to make things last a long time, and that goes for everything: yeah. water, mm -hmm. soap, powder, all of those things. And so you don't waste it. And I, I must have learned that from when I was yeah. really, really young, yeah. and I've never changed. And it is separating the, the sort of current crisis to real long-term change because yeah. we are exactly. going to have to have well, long-term change. Yeah. yeah.